<laughs> Sorry, I, I thought uh, you, you were testing something. Well, I, no, just, no, no. I just added some measurements. Yeah. Now I think... Okay, so well, now I've got the camera on. You, you are confirming that, that what we discussed, that it's going to be in... I can show you it one It will example. be uniformed. I can show you one example. Just give me one second, yeah? Now this is difficult to... So that's your timestamp, yeah? Yeah. As we said, those are the measurements that we chose. And there's the measurements per whatever time that is. And that's a column. We can rearrange these columns later on if you want something next to each other. So for example, as you said, the output and the input power together, then we can yeah, yeah. just move the, co the columns okay. around and that's it. No well, problem. as long as you can do that for me, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Because I, I can't do that. Okay. That's perfect. So... Measurements. Yeah. So what, what what are we seeing on there? Uh, well, all the measurements that we have chosen, as you, as you said. Uh, so we're getting two, about 240 volts <coughs> out at 2.63. Yeah, let's just remember that these are face-to-face -face voltages, yeah, because of the configuration of the motor and everything else. Yeah. See, so this, this time we've got 9.9 .9 amps going in. Last time we had 8.85, so it's almost a uh, one amp more, Wh which tells me that there are parts in the system which have either moved or worn out. But the output is pretty much the same, except the, the amps are a little bit less. It was 2.69 last time. And now it's fluctuating between 2.6 and 2.5. You can smell that hit quite hard there, can you? Yeah, it is. Uh... We're up to 63 hertz now. <laughs> Sorry, say again? Yeah, you can go up this way. No, 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 no. If you go up the stairs, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's it's getting stable now, isn't it? See the voltage has gone up. I'm not sure though, uh, on, on your readings here, right? Well, what, where's the power factor? Uh, okay. Power factor's in 0.62, yeah? 0.62? Yeah, and 0.95. For the output? Yeah. Okay. And that's quite a lot of angles to 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 put it, isn't it? To so, so, so you're going to be. Um, well, 
mind if we do that? Let me, can I just take a picture of this one? Yeah. Well, all, all of that is, is telling you exactly what that date is there. Yes. But I still, you know, want to get it on camera. Go shortly as well. Yeah. See the voltage I was asking him. Yeah. Um, it's one one forty. No, that's on the other side, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's where it is. He said as well. Did you go? There's a difference between the fundamental voltage and the actual. Look, the efficiency is going up to 84. Uh, between 76 and 84. It's gone to 72, 74. It's gone up to 73. It went up to 80 something. But there's another figure of 50, and then I don't know what that. It's, it's effectively fluctuating between 48 and 50. 48, Sorry? 48 and a half and 50 and a half is going the efficiency. What's that? The efficiency. <laughs> Well, what is the efficiency there? This one doesn't show anything. It doesn't mean anything. And that's what I was saying before. I was, uh, I didn't know which one to choose. Okay. So efficiency. This is the real efficiency. Okay. What, what is the efficiency of? I put a rainbow. Really? Yes. So we're only getting fifty percent efficiency from input and output. Efficiency doesn't right now, yes. Yeah, but, but when the, the figure work is it was it's twenty five percent. Like I say, you you you're getting seventy five percent of yeah. Well, they seventy five percent before. I yeah. Where, where where are we getting seventy five percent? When, 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 when we were working out the figure work, when, when we, we were getting seventy five percent. Yeah. Now we're getting fifty percent. No, no. The efficiency shows slightly. Did it show exactly that on the thing? Yeah, it did actually. It showed dipping it in there. Um, yeah, it showed 74, 74 point something, didn't it, before? Yeah. Yeah, but that's the real, that's the real measurement of efficiency right now. I mean, yeah. There's no. But that's not taking into account the power factor and the efficiency of the motor. This is purely taking KVA input and KVA output. I cannot say I cannot say what's taking this. All I know is all these measurements that you are seeing, the power, uh, the watts, yeah. the voltage, it's, it's everything is calculated inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a There's result no of what you're putting in to put There's no need for further calculations. This is like the real electrical power that you're putting in, putting in, and the real electrical power that we are putting out. That's it. And it's taking into account everything. Mechanically speaking, it's not taking the efficiency of the motor whatsoever because we don't have the means yes, to measure yes. efficiency of the motor. Yeah, yeah. We need to convert electrical power to mechanical power by measuring torque, speed, whatever. Sure, sure. So we don't have all that. We're just measuring the electrical yes. component of the, of the test. Normally, this is coming from uh, NPL. What they said is, whatever power you're seeing there for the input, you multiply that with the 
power factor, then the efficiency, and that gives you your torque input into the system. But because we've got the gearbox attached to it as well, so you have to then add or multiply the efficiency of the gearbox. I know that's not what you do. All I, all, I, all, I, all I can say is that it's not as easy as multiplying things, you know, you just you have to measure the mechanical power as well to be able to, to see what the efficiency is. So at which rate is converting electrical to mechanical power. Would that change if you turn the light off? Would it, you think? Turn a light off. Would that change? 